What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach. I am very excited to be here with you today because we're showing off one of the one of the best decks in the game. I feel like I say that a lot, but this deck, honestly, I feel like it's one of the most feared decks in the game. Engineer spam with Shaman, and instead of Mime, I've got Dryad in there just to help me on offense a little bit more. And uh, and it's a it's a really good deck, man. It's a really tough deck to play against. It outputs a lot of damage and it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. So I want to really show it off today. But before we get into the meat of this video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. I put out videos every day and uh, and it really helps to have you guys subscribe and check out these videos. And I don't want you guys to miss anything. So do that if you haven't subscribed. But let's jump into today's video. Trying to show off this engineer deck, we are going up against, whoa, we're going up against an engineer uh, inquisitor deck. I don't think I've ever seen an engineer inquisitor deck before, but let's see what we can do today. He just got the right amount, so let's bug him a little bit. And, uh, and we're gonna try and take this man on and take this man out. So let's see, hmm. Got Gorgon. I'm gonna come over here. I guess I'll do that. I don't know. Our board looks a little weird, but not the end of the world. We're not completely combined out. Let's just do this because then we might be able to get an engineer in that spot right there. Not yet. We got one more chance. 16 seconds. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick um, on how to clear your board. Oh, that was really good for us. Right before they come. Boop! Look at that. Board cleared. I'm not worried about... Um... Oh, beautiful. Take that guy out. Oh, I wish I... Oh, good thing I didn't combine out there. I was going to try and get another Shaman. Um, but yeah, if you guys have Snowflake and you didn't know that trick, no matter what you do in the first wave, you can always just hit that with like one second to go and clear your board and then your mo your boss is gonna be super, super weak. So, fun fact there. Trying to combine out a little bit, hitting his engineer. Engineer and quiz, super strange. Uh, I do wanna say this. This deck is really good, guys. I am so bad with this deck. I lose with this deck all the time, and I don't understand it because I know this deck is strong, and I've lost to this deck a bunch of times. But for whatever reason, I struggle with this deck, and uh, and maybe you guys will see in this gameplay why I'm having a little bit of trouble, but it's, it's a super strong deck. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't be fooled by my lack of skill. Uh because this deck works really well, I promise you. Promise you, promise you. Obviously the deck we're going up against right now is a little bit strange. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's do that, I guess. Strange play there. Hmm. I totally could combine my, my shamans together. Let's just do that. 25 seconds. He's having a really tough time at the moment. And just look how much damage we're outputting. Like, it's it's pretty wild. We got a rank four. He's got 14 seconds. He's trying to hold on for dear life, but I think this is going to be a GG, especially if we can hit an Inquiz. We didn't hit... We didn't take out an Inquiz, but we did rank one down. We're up at 52-32, which isn't too, too crazy. But let's just check. So he's got a seven. He's got a nine. Level nine uh, engineer. My level 11 engineer feels under uh under leveled so a level nine is super under leveled why dude i guess he's just trying different things i mean he's got the perfect in quiz deck as long as he just puts in bombardier and then he's and he's fine so if you're seeing this uh whatever guy uh sam 75 put in bombardier and you're gonna have a lot more luck you probably already know that and are trying different things uh but if you didn't know that engineer weird but let's jump into another battle here we're going up against this deck, okay, so this is the deck I put out two videos ago, I believe, and uh, and it's a lot of fun to play, and it's pretty cool, but I feel like if we go up against Inquisitor and we play it right, even Hex, if we go up against Hex and we play it right, 
they shouldn't be able to level up their units well enough, and they shouldn't be able to level, and uh, they should get in a bit of trouble with shamans specifically. So let's see if we can get this guy in trouble and uh, and go from there. So let's just get this guy up right quick. We got Bedlam. Bedlam's pretty bad against this deck, I guess, just because we do have only engineers as damage. We don't have anything else slowing or stunning or anything else like that. So it can get a little bit sketchy, but we do have the opportunity if we set our board up well enough to take Bedlam out before it makes any switches. It does happen. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but we're going to have to set up our board nice, nice. You can see I pretty much only spam out summoners and shamans if I have three of them because I always want to keep one on the board just for increased uh, opportunity down the road. So let's do one there. Okay, we got an engineer next to a rank three. That's pretty good. Again, not too worried about our board because we can just clear it whenever we want. We are going to have Snowflake in just a second. There we go. Uh, and let's see what we can do. I guess we'll go over here with a Shaman. Why not? Take away a Harlequin. I'm sure he liked that Harlequin. Uh, let's do this. Strange play, a little bit. But we do get them all leveled out. Again, where they are on the board doesn't matter all that much. Gonna do this. Gonna try our best to keep our board full. I am gonna snowflake because our board is a little too far. So let's just get down to the last second, take everybody out, and I'm gonna level up my guy one more time. Let's actually do this. And I don't know if that's the right play. It was the right play. See that? I output it as much damage as I absolutely could so that we took out Bedlam, because if it did switch us around, we would be in a really awkward spot. Uh, just because we have got rank four, two rank threes, it would have been a little hairy. So really good right there. Super useful play. Do that with your Snowflake if you don't do that already, because not only does it clear your board, you also get the mana from all of those kills. So super, super useful. But I, I, I like our chances right now. I like our chances. We've got a couple of rank threes. A rank four in the middle of a board. Everything's connected. He doesn't have a shaman or anything to try and bother us. Um, so I think we're in the driver's seat. He does have four inquisitors, so that's good on his part. But let's just keep chugging along and see what we can do. Alrighty, let's do this. Um, I guess we'll go here and here. Okay, we're basically just going to be combining out rank one in uh, rank one engineers now. We can get our engineers to max, so let's try and do that because he is out outputting. Well, now he doesn't have the right amount, but he is outputting more damage than we are. Now he's got the right amount. We got Tamer in twenty seconds. Let's max out our engineers and see if we can take out this guy's deck which i made a video on if you guys want to know how to play the deck he's playing check it out on my channel it's there somewhere let's do this all right i feel pretty good he's got to take out about a mil tamer but uh tamer's not going to be actually i was going to say not going to be that tough, but Hex is actually not super useful against Tamer. His Frost will be really useful against Tamer, but he might still take it out. If you don't know, I can still... I still really like our spot right now. I really like where we're going. Love where we're at. There's honestly so many decks right now that you can put out with some success. So he's not going to take this guy out, but I don't think that he's going to... He might lose. He might lose right here, unless he can get instant kills. All right, he's getting instant kills. So his instant kills are good, but uh, but he did take two hits there. He took a hit, two lives, so that's really good on our part. And uh, he's trying to get to four in quizzes. He didn't combine out completely correct. But there you go. Is he going to try and risk it and get another combine out and... and, and uh, Get another rank three or whatever? No. All right, let's do this. 
keep on spamming him. If we can do a little bit more spam at him, we're going to be in even a better spot. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We still got Snowflake up our sleeve. That's good on our part. I guess I'll do... I don't know. I could do Summoner if I really wanted to. I don't really want to. I'm just going to do that. We're taking him... Uh-oh. Uh we're losing a little bit of traction here. That's actually really bad. Hopefully we can make it to Tamer. 20 seconds. He's taking it out much quicker. We do have Snowflake if we need to. I think we won't take a hit here. Getting a little sketch, but we're not going to take a hit. Alright, so... He's got to go through 1.2. Or I got to go through... Yeah, he's got to go through 1.2. I got to go through 2. But look how much damage we're putting out, guys. So basically why he took over in that wave is because of how much slow he had and the instant kills. So as long as we can take this guy out, we're putting out so much damage. But the minions are going to be a little brutal. I don't want to take a hit. It's kind of bad on our part right there. He is going to take it out. Uh-oh, this is getting ugly, fellas. This is getting ugly. We've got our board completely ranked three and fours right now. Bedlam coming up. But uh, this is going to be ugly. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to we're going to take it or not. We need to hit something. We need shamans or something to do work. We need our snowflake back. We need a lot. I think this is going to be an L. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Yikes, man. What a what a game. And we're definitely going to take an L here. We don't have snowflake to save us. Wow, good game, man. He hung in there for so long and ended up taking us out. That deck's really good. There you go. The longer the game goes, the better he's going to have, the better chance he's going to have. So let me know what I did wrong in that game because clearly I should have done something early on to actually take him out. But let's jump into one more just to show this deck off. And I told you guys I'm bad at this deck, but the deck is really good. And I had to show it off on my channel because I've seen it a decent amount. And we're going up against the classic Inquis Grindstone deck. So let's see. Another thing I wanted to mention is this deck you would think you would brick a lot with. I don't think I've ever bricked with this deck. You've only got in, you've only got Engineer, then you've got Dryad, Shaman, all these cards that you would be pretty susceptible to bricking with. And it doesn't seem like you brick, brick that often, so... Kind of interesting right there. He's given me such an opportunity just to, to spam him a little bit. Hmm. I wish I had more plays to make. Eh, let's just do this. Even though it's Warlocks, so that's kind of an ugly play. Hmm. Let's see here. He's setting me up to, to do some work on him, but... I don't have that many shamans to spam. Mm. I guess I should be less focused on getting my board looking good because his board's going to look good no matter what. But at the same time, he's building up so much mana right now that I don't think it's really going to matter all that much. Let's just try to fill our board to go up against Warlock. Um, and if we can get into a decent spot, we'll spam him a little bit more. Again, we got snowflakes, so we're not too worried about this first wave. And we're just going to be chilling. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I hope everybody's enjoying these videos. Alright, I might keep that rank 3 right there just because... If Warlock comes down, I can I can use it. But our board looks much better to go up against Warlock now. 
Who wants to put money on the fact that it's going to take away one of my rank threes? Who wants to? Bets, bets, all bets are in, all bets are in. Ooh. All right, I leveled up my shaman, so that's super not useful. Did you take the bet? I hope not, because you lost. All right, here we go. Do that. I guess we'll do this now. Um, Do that, I suppose. We got Puppeteer. Taking away one of his inquizzes right when he gets the wrong number of inquizzes. Typical. So classic. I gotta I gotta look at his board a little bit more for when I shoot a shaman. Let's do another one. Now his board should be a little uglier. Got one of his inquizzes. He'll probably get one back pretty soon. So let's really just try and focus on outputting as much damage as possible. We're only at level two, so let's get us ours up to level three right there. We should be working back towards my portal much quicker. I think I was hesitant subconsciously to, to level up because we we have Puppeteer coming up. But we're doing pretty good. He's having a lot of trouble now. That's what shamans do to you. He's going to have to stop his guys. He's not going to. He's stubborn. Oh, he took a hit, though. And that is a victory. We played it a little bit better. We kind of figured it out. Going up in quiz de against in quiz decks, you really got to put the pressure on early, and you should be able to pan out a victory pretty easily. But let me know what you guys think of this deck. It's really, really strong. I haven't completely figured out how to play it. It feels a little bit slow to me, but we did get a couple of big win wins, and if you have these cards, try them out. And I'm telling you, Engineer at level 11 is not that strong. He got a level 8 uh, Inquisitor, we put out 1.2 mil with a level 11, just so you guys can see the stats. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.